All right, welcome back to my next tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at multiplayer games again, only this time we're going to be using this wonderful piece of software from um, Photon. So we're going to be using Photon Unity Network. Um, we're going to get ourselves started. So uh, we're going to go straight to photonengine.com to create yourself a new account if you haven't already done so. So um, all you need to do is uh, create your account and then sign in. And I've already done so here. So I've got a couple of games that I've made um, earlier on with Photon Unity Networking and what you really need to do first up is just to create this app. So um, the Photon type that you need is just PUN and this is the one that's integrated really well with Unity. There's other ones that you can use including the chat but for beginners this is probably the best bet. So your job is just to try and create, um, so I'm going to say um, practice game or something like that. I'm going to call my one practice game and uh, you can give it a short description if you want and then you click create. Now the thing you're looking for and the reason we're doing this is that uh, Photon uses the uh, cloud to host this so it will use a location uh, on a server nearest to you to, to do this so um, what, you, what it does is and what you need is this app ID so this app ID right here I'll not click on it but um, I will need this app ID once I've got PUN set up so we're going to go straight to Unity from here. So I've set up uh, Unity. I've got a blank project. I'm running 2019.3.10 right now. Uh, we're, I just set up a standard 3D, so not using the URP or anything. Um, what we need to get here is we need to go to the um, Assets Store and import the latest version of PUN2. So when you've loaded up the asset store, you can just do a quick search for PUN2 um, and you'll see if I do that, oops, asset store is being slow. If I go from here, PUN2, um, you'll see that a uh, PUN2, hopefully PUN2 will come up. PUN. PUN. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. So we're looking for the free version of PUN. Um, the uh, I have it as my assets, but the free version right here, you just import and it will create the uh, a folder in here. Now I did want to go over this because um, the amazing tutorials that we have with um, Photon. There's a bunch of tutorials that you can get, but they really are um, more complicated than they need to be. So I'm just going to try and strip it down and make it as simple as possible for you guys. Um, I had I had some issues with a few bits of um, code that weren't quite right and that I needed to work out. Uh, and particularly, um, one of the issues that I had was with uh, with the demos um, in the tutorial that was given. One of the demo files actually overwrote some of the um, files that I was writing. So you need to make sure that you have a uh, photon chat, photon libs, photon real time, and photon unity networking um, installed. So all this needs to be ticked. But um, you can, if you wish, uh, install all of the demos as well. But I recommend just to keep things nice and light for now, just untick the demos and uh, that will literally get rid of all of the demo uh, files and you're welcome to do that in a separate project if you want. Um, this is a great resource for learning. There's a bunch of stuff in here including the tutorial that they give you um, in the in the uh, in the web page so you're welcome to do that but for my tutorial if we can just untick demos it just keeps things nice and neat and clean and you'll avo avoid the problem that you'll confusing problem that you'll have later. So I'm going to import all of these um, these assets. Uh, it really won't take long and I can uh, close down the asset store once we have done this because we won't need it anymore and we'll get straight on to um, creating our first simple project. We're going to start with basically connecting um, to, the, to a room. And the way PUN works is that the uh, the system works by connecting to the to a, a local server um, and oh, yeah here we go so it's up and running if we go to the, the this pun setup remember I made you set up the app ID um, for a particular app now this is one place that you can set this so you'll need to copy and paste your app ID 
into here and then click on set up project and then you should be good to go and I'm going to pause this and I'm going to do it um, for my one so that we can get ready to um, create the, the project so as you can see the um, I put the app ID in I click create the project um, what it's done is it's created this photon server settings and this is all of the information that the the uh, photon game that you're about to make requires to connect to the server the cloud server that you have um, we'll not really muck around with any of these settings right now and um, we'll come to them a little bit later but we're going to get on with the first little part of our um, code so I'm just going to close this tab right here and we've got our empty scene now this is going to be I'm going to save this scene um, I'm going to save this scene as a lobby so I'm just going to go into scenes and uh, I'm just going to say lobby right now um, so this will be like the main the main lobby scene that we're going to um, launch from and we're going to create ourselves a little button before we do any code so I'm assuming if you're following this tutorial you already know a fair amount of um, of unity so I'm going to go fairly quick so I just need to uh, I'm going to create myself first of all an empty game object I'm going to call this game object network manager and the network manager I'm going to need a script so I'm going to add um, a new script and I'm going to call it network network manager network manager and uh, we're going to just from that object we have the network manager script on it we're going to put a button on as a child of that so if I right click on network manager click on UI and head down to button um, we should see button right there um, and this is going to be my play button so it's going to be my um, I'll just call it play and then we'll get on to the scripts so the button right here should be right in the middle of the screen um, as mine's is and I'm just going to change the text so that rather than saying button it says play um, we're going to keep this as simple as possible as I mentioned so um, we're just going to jump straight into this network manager and we're going to get um, hopefully in this video we'll get this just simply connected to a room um, once you're connected to the server you then need to connect to a room that's how pun works you can have um, 20 people but they could be in several different rooms uh, so what I'm going to do is just get rid of the um, the top couple of usings um, get rid of that space and we're going to add in the usings that we need so we're going to use photon.pun for the first using and believe it or not we also need um, photon.realtime just for the some of the server stuff so um, the tutorial explains a little bit about um, changing mono behavior and if you did my last multiplayer tutorial you'll see that you I would have a network behavior instead of mono behavior um, on this occasion with pun we actually use a, an interface system so rather than um, a completely different class well it is a different class but it's actually using some interfaces so we're going to use this mono behavior pun callbacks uh, as the uh, class we inherit from so this is our network manager inherits from mono behavior class uh, mono behavior pun callbacks class it makes it a lot easier for us uh, to be able to access some overrides that we are able to use for, from the interfaces that we have so um, we are I'll just quickly show you the overrides if you want to create some um, overrides in Visual Studio uh, if you just type override and then it gives you a bunch of um, overrides um, all of this was is within the documentation but as you can see these are pun ones on connected and on created room um, on disconnected on joined room so these overrides um, are actually really useful and we're going to use a couple of them um, in a second uh, first thing we're going to do however though is we're just going to uh, what's going to happen at start is we basically want to um, connect uh, as soon as the game starts so this network manager scene as soon as it loads in we want to start the game uh, we want to connect to the server so I'm going to write um, public a uh, public function make it a void return type and we'll call it connect because that's what it's going to do um, it's frustrating how it does that there we go so connect is what we're going to call this and all we're going to do is we're going to use the photon if I can spell the photon network dot connect 
um, connect using settings. So you'll see that the connect using settings here doesn't take any parameters at all, which is really handy. And that leads us, that shows you that where the actual place that we find the settings was the, the thing that we set up with the app ID. So um, you'll find that inside of Photon and then Photon Unity Networking and then inside of uh, Resources. And this is your Photon server setting. So if you need it to change differently, like a different region or any of these other, other things that need to change, then you can find that there. So uh, this is a really simple, uh, powerful solution to be able to do this real quick. So if I find this one again, so we've got um, connect using settings. So in the start function, we literally just want to run that function. So we're just going to run the connect function. So when we start, we should connect. Um, now, as it is right now, this should work. So um, you should connect, but there's no real messages that are telling you whether that's actually worked or not. So that's where the um, that's kind of where the the overrides are going to come on. So um, I mentioned before that uh, the way Pun works is with rooms. So uh, we're going to try and join a room, and that's why I put the button on the on the scene. We're going to make a, a public function uh, with a void return type, and we're going to call it um, what do we call it? Button play. So we're just going to call this. Whew, did it again? We're going to call it play. So um, this is going to be triggered by our button and we're literally just going to try to connect to a random room and again this is another really powerful um, photon network function that uh, says join random room so this will just try and join the room that best fits um, your needs so the, the, the most local one the least ping uh, the one that's not full that you're able to join um, the issue here however is that you um, you need some sort of, it will take time to do that and you can't just say uh, that this is going to be successful at the instant you run it. So that's why we have those overrides. So um, just for now, um, I won't delete it, I'll just shove it down a little bit. So just for now we're going to look for the um, join random room failed override. So uh, if we fail to join a room, um, so on joined random failed um, this override right here, I believe this is the right one I'm going to do, on join random room failed. Yeah, uh, this will, uh, I can get rid of the base because I don't really need it, but this will effectively, this will run um, straight away because we've tried to run a, to, um, to play a game and to join a random room and I'm assuming, we're, uh, assuming we are connected, the reason that this will fail is that because there is no room and we haven't created a room so this should work so I'm just gonna use uh, debug.log and I'm just gonna say um, tried to um, join a room and failed okay so uh, we are gonna test this because it's always a really good idea to continue to test so um, jumping back to unity wait for this to compile and then hook up this button to the room that we're looking for. So if I go to um, the network manager is where I have the script, the button is play. I'm going to go down to the on click event for the button. I'm going to drag the network manager into that object, uh, go for the network manager script and look for the play. Uh, method that we've got inside there. So this should run that play method should get run when we do this. So um, oh yeah there is, while well, I've got this project um, project settings up, the pun logging, this photon server settings, this pun logging it's always a really good idea to, to go full for the pun logging when you're debugging and making things trying to create the game. Um, that will give you a lot more um, information in the console as you try and run things uh, and as it tries to connect and, and, and things. So I've got the network manager script, I'm going to hit play and I'm just going to look at the console with my full pun logging on. So um, pun got region list, you can see that it's actually pinged, it's found my um, the, the ping for the Australia region and the European region and it's picked one. Um, it does ask, say that it's in a development mode, um, not sure entirely why. Um, when I click the play button, 
um, you should see it tried to join a room and failed. So we've got some success. We've managed to kind of connect uh, a little bit to here. Um, I'm going to make this tutorial slightly longer because it would be great if I could finish it with actually joining a room. So what we're going to do is um, if we fail um, to join a room, it's most likely, uh, most likely because um, there is no room. So the, it's a good chance that what I really need to do is actually just create a room. So I'm going to say um, photon network dot create room. Um, the create room has a bunch of options that you uh, should probably uh, think about. The simplest way to do this is um, if we just do a null for the room name, so it will give it a random room name, and then I'm just going to say new uh, room options, and then I'm just going to pass in some of the parameters, and this is in not a, it's weird, it's not a, a function, It's I'm going to instantiate a class um, instantly with with the uh, this the try the curly brackets, so I can actually say uh, max players equals and set a value for the max players rather than and this should be a public variable up top, but um, for now just for speed we'll um, we'll just do this. So this creates a new room options. Um, there's a bunch of settings inside room options that you can easily look through the documentation for, but I'm just going to set the max players to four on this situation here. So I've cr I should have created a room now. This automatically, it doesn't really say in the documentation, but this automatically will join that room. Um, so to check for success, we need to look at one of the other overrides, and this is on joined room. So if I do actually manage to join a room, then we should uh, be able to say that this has been a success. So, so debug.log, I'm gonna say joined a room, yay. So in theory, if all is succeeded, a room will be will connect to the network. We will find the best uh, server to bounce our signal past. We'll um, attempt to we'll click the play button, attempting to join a room. And if no room exists, we will create one and then join it. So in theory, this should work, and we're going to test it uh, real quick, um, hopefully, uh, just right here. So this is going to build. I'm going to go to um, File and Build Settings, and I'm going to take this scene that I have, so in Assets and Scenes, I'm going to take this lobby scene and put it into the Build Settings, because I'd love to be able to um, test this to prove that it actually works. Uh, I have found that under Player Settings, you should definitely, um, with this version of Windows, uh, sorry, this version of Unity, you should definitely change this to Windowed. Um, and then give this a real small size. I choose like a 640 by 480 um, window size um, and make sure that it is actually windowed and then just click away to any other one of these and it should save those settings. Uh, when we build it, what it'll do is if I um, click build and run right here, I'm going to create a new folder and call it build and just build it into that project folder. Um, when it does build, I should be able to um, connect to uh, the, the server uh, on, in both instances. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to connect with the, um, the, the, the console one, the, the built version, and then you'll see all the information that's going on with the, uh, in the console of the Unity one, the one that's running inside of the Unity editor, hopefully. So I can allow access to that one. I can close this, I can boot it up. So in theory right now I can click this play button and it should connect and there's no console messages here. If I uh, run this one, this should now be the uh, client. So I am running this, I can uh, make sure I have my console. So we see that we've connected. Um, if I click play, we should say join the room E. Um, and you'll find that you should be able to run that both ways and you'll get that joined a room. So both these both these instances, this one and this one, are connected to the same room. So we've done a lot in this tutorial. We've managed to create ourselves an app, we've managed to connect and join a room and we've uh, I've got a nice little play button that should work. So uh, in the next one we're going to get the player up and running and um, we'll be running around before you know it. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial so far and please stick with it.